Uh, Holloway seeks to shift the burden of proof to me to demonstrate from scripture that Justin Martyr was inspired and spoke inspired prophetic utterances or performed miracles. No, the burden of proof is on him. Did he do it? No, he cited 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 10 through 13. What does that prove relative to Justin Martyr, who lived after that text was written? It, therefore, did not speak of him or of his personal alleged miraculous activity. The text does not say miracles to get uh, miracles, tongues, or prophecy continued. Just the opposite. If he had said faith, hope, and love continue and cited that as Justin Martyr's belief and practice, I would have no problem. But that is not what he said. He said the very things that Paul said would cease, continue. That is the problem, and he has yet to offer any scriptural proof. Now, Michael's words are, if Justin is right. Well, is he? What if Chrysostom, who lived in the 4th century AD, was correct when he said the gifts had ceased long ago? This was 1,600 years before the 21st century. What if Tertullian is correct when he showed from Scripture, and according to Daniel 9 and verse 24 and history, that vision and prophecy were sealed in the 70 weeks that ended in the time of Vespasian and Titus at the fall of Jerusalem. Michael uses more circular reasoning and uh, Joe Isuzu theology. Remember that old commercial that said, you can just take my word for it? Well, that's basically what Michael is doing with his, uh, with his uh, presentation and with the arguments that he's making because he isn't offering uh, any proof for uh, the information that uh, that he is uh, giving to establish what he was saying. And um, reasoning by offering as proof, you know, well, we have thousands of testimonies today. Well, that doesn't prove anything that the scripture is saying. That's just saying you're taking a lot of Joey Suzu th theology in order to prove your point or attempt to prove your point. Well, again, how many of those testimonies are documented in scripture? None, not a single one of them. Michael assumes what he needs to prove. We'll show you that later in his presentation, and he will contradict the statements that he made both on 1 Corinthians 13, 10 through 13, and on his non-credible witnesses.